Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So for today I finally found the time to play with the new Bella Beauté bar. This is the Sun in the Sea palette. Guys, I wasn't going to get it. But then this packaging, it, it was like, no, you're buying me no matter what. So if you want to see my thoughts on this palette, then stick around for today's video. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I love indie brands and I love eyeshadow palettes. So let me just zoom you in and we're going to get started. So I actually have already played with this palette one other time. I did a quick beautiful blue look. I'll pop up a picture. Um, so today I'm wanting to play with more, I think of the fiery shades. They're just, it's, they are all so pretty. It's hard to just pick one, but we're going to do it. I'm going to manage it. So we're just going to dive in. Um, I'm going to go in with the shade tan lines first. It's a very light, light shade. And honestly, I'm kind of glad that they added this because it helps blend the other shades out very effortlessly. I've noticed based off the first look that I did, that blue one, uh, just, you can't really tell it, but when you need a shade to blend without adding more pigment, that shade really saved me in the previous look. Um, I want to go in with this shade Sun Bathe right here, oh, or don't want to go with Beach Babe. I don't know. I might mix these two. Beach Babe and Sun Bathe. They just have a little bit of a different tone in them. Sun Bathe looks a little bit warmer and then Beach Babe looks a little cooler. But who knows. I do think that there was just a little bit of repetition with the mattes. But I'm just curious. I just want to keep playing with the palette and see if they're any different on the eye. But just off my first look, the blues in here... They are so, so pigmented and beautiful. And I could tell a difference once I got them on my eyes. Um, I don't know if it's different enough, but I definitely could. I did notice a difference. Dang, something I love about their matte shades. They are pigmented, but yet they blend out pretty easy and fast. Like, you don't really have to work too hard to blend these babies out. I'm just going back in with tan lines, that really pale shade. And just kind of going over what I already have to blend everything out. I'm not really worried about the two mattes that I used. Because the star of the show is going to be the shimmer shade. And I'll fix the mattes later in the crease. I just kind of wanted a little bit of something to start with. Now I'm ready to go in with the shimmer. I have not decided yet. I want, I can't decide if I want to do Daydream or Heat Wave. This one's like a beautiful gold shift, red shift. And this one's like... It's almost got like a green shift to it, so I think I want to try Heat Wave. Oh, there's so many different textures just in this one palette. Yeah, this is red, green, gold. Such a pretty multi-chrome. So I want to put this all over, kind of like the outer part and a little bit on the middle. And then I'm going to use a different shade for the inner part just so it doesn't get too dark. Wow. How beautiful. And I really do enjoy a shimmer in the crease. So I'm just going to end up blending this everywhere. But it's so shifty and beautiful. Wow. This is a very, very smooth multi-chrome. I'm really enjoying this formula. It's so funny. I started the year with zero palettes from this brand. And now kind of closing the year. Oh no, I'm going to get more. I already have five and they're about to reveal like the Halloween palette, which probably going to get that. So they're going to be six. It's so funny. It's like, I've just gotten so many new palettes from this brand and so far they're just like all hit. So I definitely, every time they launch a palette, I'm just very interested and intrigued. I can't get over that shade. It's beautiful. Um, I want to go with the shade Water Nymph next. It's a beautiful iridescent white base with like a pink iridescent shade. And I'm going to put that on the inner part. The shade is so soft and smooth. It's just going to really make that inner part pop. Oh, I love the pink. I love the pink. I can't wait to mix them on each other. So have you tried Bella Beauté Bar yet? What palettes do you own from them if you have? Which palettes are you curious about? I do have the new Pastel Garden palette right here. This one came in with the one, the Mermaid palette. And I didn't know that they were going to do blue. I think the last time it was like pinky lavender shade. But look how pretty it is. Definitely let me know if you want to see my thoughts on this palette. I know it's not like technically new. I was definitely late to the game on that. Very limited stock left. But 
I've been wanting that palette for so long. I'm really glad that I have it. So yeah, let me know if you want to see me do a video creating a look with that. I'm just going to blend these together real quick. So what is your favorite type of multi-chrome? My favorite, it says beautiful fiery shades. Now I will say the shade Siren in this palette knocked my socks off. It's like a beautiful teal with green and purple and blue. It's so pretty and it has a very almost translucent base. So it's very, I don't know, you can layer over everything and it's just going to completely transform your look. That shade is pure magic. That's just what I love about Shifty Shadows. They really transform every look. But definitely let me know what's your favorite type of Shifty shade. What's your favorite color combos. Uh, now for the lower lash line. I think I'm going to do some brown <laughs> to kind of tie it in. I'm just going to mix these two. Beach Babe and Sun Babe. And just kind of work those on the lower lash line. I just love those browns so much. I can't wait to test out these two over here to see if they're different enough from these, you know, but that I just need to play with this palette more. If I do more looks, I'll definitely pop up a reel. Like if I do multiple looks, I'll pop it up. I don't know when this video is going to go up, but if that reel is completed, then I'll definitely pop it up so I can show you all the different shades that I came up with. So now to kind of give a little bit of a liner effect, I'm going to go with the shade Bikini. And you know what? I'm going to mix it with this darker brown over here. I'm going to mix those two together just to see how deep I can get it. Plus, I really do love pinks with like these multi-chrome, like the red, greeny, gold look. So I'm just going to stamp that on. Oh, that looks really pretty with the brown. And then I'll be back to show you the finished look. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. I just added, let's see, I told you about the purple and the shade I added as liner. Um, it was fine. I just wish that this brown right here was super deep. I didn't get exactly the definition I wanted, but like I could personally just pop into another palette. Just, you know, just some of my thoughts with this one. And then I went in with the shade Overexposed on my waterline. I wish it was more reddish or something just to make it different, but anyways I think that the look turned out really pretty I want to show you in the mirror um kind of like the shadow so you can see the shift better maybe you can see the shift there hopefully you can but either way it has a beautiful green shift to it and I love it so I'm going to zoom you out and give you some of my thoughts on this palette so I know that this was like a super quick video but I just wanted to pop on here and create a look with you all and just kind of see what I'm thinking because I really wanted to play with all those browns today. So let's just first start off with the beautiful packaging. I love mermaids and I love this palette. It was the overall deciding factor. I know that sounds silly, but honestly, I've been waiting for a mermaid palette to really call my attention enough to put into my collection. And this is the only one I think like mermaid theme that I have in my collection because there's so so many palettes out there that have this theme but this is the one that really captivated my heart and I do like on the inside how it's not like a traditional mermaid palette like the sand and oh, the sand the sun and the sea my friend she said it's more like the sand <laughs> because like there's so many browns so I definitely see that maybe if there was like a fun pop of yellow I could tie in some of that sun you know but this bright gold kind of helps but I do really love the color story with these warm tones mixed with these cool tones I love the purple there is versatility in this palette but overall as far as the mattes go you're working with the blues the purple and the brown so I wish I would have seen a little bit more I don't know some different tones up here maybe if I'm poppy yellow something like that but or maybe even like a fun bright orange something but I do like the two looks that I have created so far like I said if I do have a reel with multiple looks I'll try to pop that up hopefully it will be done by the time you see this video but overall the quality the shimmers guys <laughs> I feel like every palette I bought, their formula keeps getting better. The shimmers are so beautiful. The mattes are lovely. They're pigmented. They blend well. And even though that there are some overlap, you still have a pretty gradient. So I would say like, you know, like Blend Bunny, they have a nice gradient. These, you can really just, they blend effortlessly. Like there's no like huge gaps. Like you can just go from light to deep. I do like it. So yeah, overall, this color story is right up my alley. Ugh, I cannot wait to continue to like test these shadows and play I look at this and I feel very inspired by all the different looks that I can create and I'm in, I'm excited to see a mermaid palette that's not kind of like a rainbow palette in a way they took 
I don't know. I just like the more grungy tones of the seed that they use with this palette. And I'm a neutral lover. If you give me a brown, I'm going to be happy. So I know a lot of people are a little conflicted when it comes to all the browns in here. I personally don't mind it, but I definitely can see where a pop of yellow and orange would have definitely benefited from this palette. Or even like a seaweed green, something along those lines to help tie in like the green shifts. But I don't know. This is what the palette is. If you love the color story, you're going to love the formulation. Um, this is not magnetic, I will say. It would be kind of cool if they would start doing magnetic palettes so you can mix and match. But yeah, I just wanted to also note this is not magnetic, but Lord have mercy, the shimmers are stunning. Anyway, sorry it's super short, but I'm going to try to, even though it's a short video, I would much prefer to continue to make as many as I can. I just can't always sit down and do three looks, but I'm enjoying playing with it, especially off camera. I play with a lot of makeup, but let me know some makeup down below you've been loving. Before I go, I wanted to show you all a few of the like the main questions I get asked my blush it's new um, this is the RMS Beauty blush and this is in the shade Crystal Slipper guys this I've only used it a few times but this is like my perfect neutral blush it's not too brown it's not too pink or too mauve -y. it's just like my perfect blush um the formula is nothing to rave about it's a beautiful blush with a soft sheen i really do like it and i'm obsessed with my unearthly cosmetics their brushes gosh this is for blush like well i don't know what it's technically for but like i just love it so much it's perfect for blush so yeah i'm really enjoying this blush i typically reach for orange blushes so I don't know, that shade is really exciting to me. And then the highlighter that I'm using today, this is from Dior. This is the uh, Nude Glow. I've had this for a long time. I have not been wearing highlighter that often. And there was something about it today that I'm like, girl, you need to reach for highlighter more. I really do like it. I miss applying highlighter. And this brush from Unearthly. I love the green set so much that I purchased the orange set. But this is the A4. And it is so perfect for highlighting. I cannot stop using it. My old favorite was like the ABH. What is it? It's right here. Is it A21? What is this called? I don't even remember. Oh no, I think the number rubbed off. Yep. I don't know the number is completely gone but this one's just kind of rough and it kind of scratches my face a little this is super soft so definitely enjoyed this and then the bronzer my my OG Lumi bronze it um yeah I definitely love this one so those are the face products that I'm using as far as lippy goes this one from Milani I wear the same products over and over but this is the 410 pleasure and I mixed it with my unearthly cosmetics lip gloss in the shade creamer so this is my lip combo but anyways guys thank you so much for watching make sure you are subscribed before leaving let me know your favorite mermaid palette in your collection because I mean I only have one so I have to say this one but I would love to hear what yours is but that's gonna do it for today's video wherever you are in the world I hope you're doing well I hope that you are healthy happy and safe stay beautiful bye guys Yeah.